You mentioned getting used to Jordan over there, a bigger body. How's that process going, kind of learning where he is? It's great. I mean, uh, Jordan's great. We have a lot of chemistry. The more you play beside somebody, the more you kind of, you know, learn what they do. He learns how, you know, I play, and we, we work off that. We know that Kelsey is very cerebral and I say experienced veteran, but what's it like uh, working next to him and kind of, uh, and also in the, in the meeting rooms, kind of learning from him? Uh, from a personal aspect, I mean, you know, not not only Kelsey, but, you know, Stout, Brandon Brooks, Isaac, Lane Johnson, I mean, all those guys are extremely intellectual when it comes to the game of football. And, you know, just being able to kind of, you know, learn, you know, how they see things, how they process things, what they think about. I mean, for personal development, I mean, it's amazing. You couldn't ask to be around a better group. Um, but, you know, in the meeting room, you know, it's all it's, it's great to have guys like that that just you know the, the the fine details about you know every aspect of the game is what's important to them how about isaac and brandon specifically now that you know they've they're trying to, to rehab their injuries but um what are they able to teach you and i guess they have a little bit more time to, to do that right now yeah i mean the the big thing is they're they're always there for you know questions if you know, if questions about a guy you're playing, a team you're playing, a defense coordinator, head coach, if you got questions about something you did in practice, something you did in the game, what they saw in the game, um, you know, just there to kind of help out all around. I mean, it's, it's, it's great that they have that mindset because, you know, it, it's not an ideal situation to be hurt, and I don't wish that upon anybody, but, you know, they're, they're always trying to help the team in any way possible, and I really appreciate that, and I know the offensive line and the rest of the team does as well. Do you go to them or – it can go either way, you know. If you're in the locker room, sitting, you want to run by, ask them, or they may come up to you and say, "Hey, I saw this in the game." You know, it kind of goes either way. Do you have like yeah. go-to's? I'm going into it now, but do you have like go-to's for like this thing or this thing? Like, you know, if, if you're working on a certain combo block, he's like Brandon, the guy to go to, or anything like that. Uh, you know, really, I mean, it's it's never bad to have a bunch of different opinions and ideas. Um, Everybody does things differently. We're all built differently. You know, when you talk about, you know, anatomy of people and how they're built, you know, different guys are better at different things. Um, so it's always good to just ask and see. And then, you know, that's how you kind of build, you know, how you personally play. You know, everybody's a little unique in that sense. You haven't had the chance to see Brandon in a while. Uh, what's, what are you seeing with him behind the scenes? I mean, he, he's doing well. Um, I, see, I see him every day, so. You know, he, he's himself. He's always helping, trying to support the team any way he can. On somewhat of a lighthearted note, you've you've brought from college, uh, where you demonstrably point out when someone jumps off sides. Uh, what's the purpose of that? What's kind of the background of that for you? Uh, you got to show the referees that they jumped off sides. You know, there's an issue. I I don't know if the NFL was. I know in college was when they enter the neutral zone. You know, if, if you don't react in some way sometimes they don't call it so you know if they're gonna get a penalty we might as well make sure that we get it the stout still call it a ooga booga booga it, you're looking at me like no <laughs> okay. he's, he's used the term before but okay. there's a lot of different ways it's been used okay. have you done that since like youth football high school football and we really react to offsides uh we started doing it at alabama just because we had some offsides penalties that weren't getting called and uh you know, we just want to make sure we're going to get them. Does that get under the defense lineman skin? I guess it depends on the guy. You know, every every person's different. So some people may next play. Some people may let it sit in their head. Last one. So usually a vocal message that goes with that. No, not really. Yeah, I'll be out there. What happened? Uh, I kind of hit my knee three times on the same play. <laughs> I was going through the, um, they did a crack toss and I was running through and I knee Keenan Allen on the knee straight on. And then when I hit Austin, I knee him on the hip. And then when I was taking him to the ground, I need the ground. So I was kind of just like out for a minute. Uh, what did you think of Zach when he got out there? Pretty good. I mean, I was actually happy for him. It was his first time, you know, playing in a live game out there, you know, bullets flying. And, you know, he was he did a good job from what I seen. He made a few tackles, good good tackles actually, and and cover two. So definitely excited to see what he can bring. Do you think that'll help him just from a, a confidence standpoint that he's kind of been waiting? Yeah, oh definitely. I mean, I can remember back to my rookie year when I had my first opportunity to go out there and play, and 
I think it was that safety and I got a pick. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was def definitely good to see him get out there and it definitely brings your confidence up and, you know, you're able to get out there and get the real feel of the, you know, live game instead of just being at practice and, you know, going over and over it and get to go against different guys out there. So do you do you really need now today probably be limited again in practice? Would that be the idea? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try to get out there for the most part and then run around a little bit. So I feel good. So, you know, I'll be out there and I'm going to play Sunday. So it, so the practice, just kind of get whatever you can get and then get ready for Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to be out there practicing. So, yeah, I'll be out there, yeah, running around, doing all my normal things that I usually do. What do you see from the Broncos? Uh, good team. I mean, they got definitely explosive weapons on the offense. Um, definitely a deep ball threat with um, 14, and you know he can go grab it anywhere, anytime, any moment. And he's definitely not scared to throw it to him. So, you know, you got to make sure you limit them with those explosive plays. You got 10 in the slot, very shifty guy. So you got to make sure you can you know limit to him in explosive plays as well. And the run game is pretty well too. They got good running back, um, quarterback, good as well. So you know we just got to make sure we take upon an opportunity that we get if he give it to us. That young running back, uh, Williams. He's oh yeah, him too. Yeah, to bring yeah, he's been, yeah, he's been he's been pretty good too. I've been seeing him, you know, like you said, tough to bring down, very strong, and you know, powerful. And you know, we just got to make sure we uh, get a lot of heads to the ball when we tackle him. Wrap up. Sorry if you already were asked this. I can't go a little late, but you know, one of the things that a lot of people talked about coming out of the game is that the ball gets out really quick and it kind of neutralizes the pass rush. What have you guys been talking about that you maybe can do to sort of combat that? Yeah, I mean, teams definitely get the ball out fast, and you know we want to give our give our D line an opportunity to get to the ball and things like that. But you know our coach pulls up these schemes, and you know we trust it in any way. And you know we're gonna we had a good team last week, and you know we got a good team coming in this week. So you know we're gonna focus on what we can do now, and focus on what we can do on the field to make things happen better for us. I said again. You say you learn something new every week. What you learn this week? Um, uh, that's a good question. Uh, probably the biggest thing is just probably just my eyes again like just still t uh, honing in on uh, making sure my out dis discipline is correct because it was some plays my eye was in the wrong place and it was uh, either a completion for a pass or I was just late uh, on the coverage so like this week is just uh, like last week is just make sure my eyes in the right place I mean that's uh, that's something I've been working on all summer and everything so, so like it's uh, something I've gotten better at but it's still something I just need to talk, uh, keep on working on every single week and I feel like that was like, my, probably my biggest problem this past game if I was looking at the negative side of it. So how much more comfortable are you as you can you can you see that advancement from game to game as you get more playing? Oh yeah at game to game I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm really just it's starting to slow down even more every single game and, uh, and I feel like going to, before the end, of the end of the season, I feel like I'm going to get to the point that I'm faster in the game, that I'm, I'm knowing what's going to come before it happens, and uh, I'm going to be just that, that one step ahead. But right now, I still, still feel like I'm like, uh, not really one step behind or still processing sometimes a little bit too late. But uh, most of the time, I'm starting to get it a little bit faster now. And uh, as the games just keep on coming on, I'm just going to continue just to progress and just continue to see it faster. I know this game's in, in Denver, not Boulder, but it's, it's, what, 45 minutes away. That, that period of your life, those of those two years, how important were they for you to kind of learn how to play football? Oh, that was very important because I, I feel like they helped me develop uh, tremendously uh, up there. I, I feel like I learned the game. I've learned uh, like the, the really the X's and O's of the game there. And I uh, feel like that's when I, my senior years where I really just uh, uh, inherited my physicality of the game and actually just learning how to just strike a person or just uh, really just tackle overall or just be a, a, a complete football player overall. So uh, those two years really shaped my life, and uh, I wouldn't take them back for, a world, for the world. And like just going back this this, this weekend is going to be uh, even uh, even greater because uh, I remember the first game, my junior year, when I first uh, had a D1 game, I stepped in that stadium when we played at Colorado State, and I remember telling myself that one day I'll be be playing here. And now I just actually uh, playing uh, playing there in an the NFL game. I'm actually going to see my dreams actually coming true in this uh, whatever I just said my uh, my junior year, saying that I was going to play here just now actually seeing it come to pass. And now would you recognize that player on, on film, that player from my junior year? Um, say it again? Like would you recognize that player? Like are, are you so much different now than you were then? Oh yeah, I'm so much different. I don't think I would recognize that player. Definitely my junior year because at, at that time I was still like D1 speed was not, uh, it was, I was still, it was still so much more advanced than I feel like where I was my junior year. But now like where I am now, I feel like I, 
I'm a totally different player, and I've improved so much since then. And, and now, how did a, a kid from Mississippi end up in, in Boulder, Colorado? Uh, that was the first, actually, that was the first Power Five school to offer me. And then coming out of junior college with uh, trying to get a D1 offer and uh, trying to get a Power Five offer, like when they offered me, I committed on the spot. Like in my head, I'm like, all right, a, D1, a Power Five school want me. And like it's in the Pac-12, it's across the country. And I wanted to step out of Mississippi, wanted to get out of my comfort zone and start, uh, like just start all over. And, uh, and that's, I felt like that was like the perfect place to go. Then I, I fell in love with the mountains, the culture, just the the, uh, the place overall. And, I, and I, I just didn't regret it at all. Had you visited or? Oh yeah, I go back, uh, during the off season, I go back all the time to train. For one, to get that altitude advantage and make sure my body's correct uh, and just the right way when I come back, I'll be in like some good shape. And then like, I just can never just not go back. Cause like, it's like a second home now. And I always go back if it's just for hiking, seeing some old friends or just going back to the, uh, going back to Boulder. Just, I feel like it's a place I'm always just go back to. What was that first winter like? First winter, oh, it was very cold. And like the snow, it got to the point that I started to like the snow, but then it got to the point I'm like, okay, now I'm getting tired of it. So, <laughs> so like it was, it was very different for me coming from Mississippi, uh, seeing like all the snow all the time and seeing it get to the negative degrees, stepping outside, your lips start to freeze up and all that. So it was just, it was, it was a big difference, a big change. But uh, as I, as the uh, months went on, I started to get used to it. Like I said, I started to get tired of the snow, but uh, uh, overall, I feel like it was it was it was pretty good, and I had when I got once I got used to it, it wasn't as bad. In the stadium on Sunday, will you give yourself a moment to kind of reflect and? Oh yeah, so I feel like as soon as I get there, I'm gonna walk the field just like I did my junior year, and I just probably just walk the same route I did, and just just seeing myself and just uh, just seeing that just seeing that memory in my head that uh, when I walked uh, like my junior year, and I'm gonna be doing the same walk and just see. How, how great, uh, I mean, how, how far I'm gonna came and just, I feel like it's just gonna be, really be a dream come true. What's that right? My, just around the field? Yeah, just like walking, like soon I come out the tunnel, walk all the way around the field, just hit all the way around and just come back to the place and just literally just look at the stadium, look at the stands and just embrace it all and just uh, take it all in and then just get ready to play. You mentioned the altitude. Uh, can you think back to when you first got there and said, this is this is a little bit different? Can you? Uh, I can still, I still remember the first time, and it was it was my official visit. Visit actually, I remember as soon as I stepped out the uh, the plane, I felt the air was thinner. Like I got the plane was like I was out of breath. So like it was a big change. And then like when I actually got up there and I started training there, I can I I, I, I was able to see what everybody was talking about with the altitude, how is uh, you can get tired faster, like the, the air is thinner. So like. Uh, like the first couple of weeks, like I was adjusting, and it was it was a hard adjustment because like it's, it's a different change, and like uh and like your your my body just wasn't used to it. But as I got adjusted to it, as I got um like like just adjusted to it, to be honest, like I, I it was a great it was a great experience. I mean not great experience, but it was great for me, and I was able to just uh just get in really good shape. And I feel like once you go out of Colorado and play other other uh, other states, you can feel the difference, and you can feel like how the air uh, really is a big difference compared to Colorado.